This video is a review of ratio tables and graphing and looking at um, proportions and making th sure that things are proportionate. So here's a ratio table. And in a ratio table, you make sure and label your items so that you can make sure that you're comparing the right things. And it says, on her vacation, Leia exchanged $50 American. So American dollars is 50. And it says, and received $90 Canadian. So Canadian is $90. And it says, use a ratio table to find out how many Canadian dollars, this is the question mark, she would receive for $20 America. So I have to look at this and I have to say, is there anything I can divide by to get to 20? Well, not evenly. So I probably need to simplify before I multiply. So I look at these and both of these are divisible by 10. So I divide by 10 and I get five and I divide by 10, that's the same as dropping a zero and I get nine. Now I go, oh, I can get from five to 20. That's times four. And nine times four is 36. So my answer is I can get 36 Canadian dollars for 20 American dollars. And that makes sense because this is less than half and this is less than half. So let's look at another one. Landon owns a hybrid SUV that can travel 300 miles. So I'm comparing miles, 300, to gallons, a 15 gallon tank, 15. And it says use a ratio table to determine how many miles, so this is my question mark, he can travel on six gallons, so this is six. So I can't go directly from 15 to six, that's not gonna work. So I have to simplify before I multiply. So if, it, with, with miles and gallons, I can usually get a unit rate, miles per gallon. So to do that, I'm going to divide 300 by 15. So whenever I divide this by 15, I get 20, and divide this by 15, and I get one. Now, how do I get from one to six? I multiply times six and then times six is 120. And again, this makes sense. This is less than half, this is less than half. So I simplified before I multiplied. Okay, this one, which of the following shows an equivalent way to show the cost of tomatoes? So I'm comparing tomatoes to money. And, I, and here's, here's my information. I can get six tomatoes for $4. So I have to put each of these in here and find out which one works. So let's start with F, and so that says 15 tomatoes for $10. Well, I can't go directly, so I have to simplify before I multiply. If I divide by two, I get three, and divide by two, I get two. Now I have to look, does this scale factor match this scale factor? And this is times five, and this is times five, so it does match. So this is the one, this is the answer here. If that wasn't the answer, I would put in each of these into the box and see if it would work. For instance, this is 12 over nine, and this is times two, this is not times two. So that one doesn't work. So with this one, what I want you to do is we'll start filling in the ratio table. You'll fill in the ratio table, then I'm gonna review how to graph this on, how to graph the points on the graph. So it says Lee mixes four units of red paint, so that's red, with and that's four, with eight units of white paint. How many units of red paint, this is what I'm looking for, would she mix with 10 units of white paint? 10 is the information that I have to get the same shade pink. So I can't go directly, so I need to simplify before I multiply. 
finish filling out the ratio table, when we come back, we'll graph these points. Okay, so to fill in the ratio table, we simplified to one half, and then we took it by five to 10 and to five. So it's five red for 10 white. So to plot this on the graph, we have to think this is X and this is Y. This is my X component and this is my Y component, um, coordinate. And so X goes first and it goes across because you walk before you jump. And Y goes up here and X down here and Y up here. So X I can plot all of these. I can plot 4 over 1, 2, 3, 4, and 8 up, and there's that. And I can plot 1 over and 2 up, and then 5 over and 10 up. And then this should be a straight line because it's proportionate. And whenever it's proportionate, it is a straight line. And it keeps going, and you can keep adding and adding and adding. So um, this is the way that you plot points on a graph from a table, and you're going to be doing this a lot. So here's your homework check. It's three questions. They're on three different slides, so you need to pause in between and um, solve these. And I'm going to give you a few seconds for each one. This is complete the ratio table to find the missing values. You have um, 6 to 5, 12 to 10, 18 to blank, and blank to 20. So which would fill in these, um, these boxes? And you have three choices. It's either 15 and 24, 26 and 15, or 24 and 15. And I'll give you a few seconds. Okay, next is a ratio table. It says if the ratio of cars to trucks, so go ahead and label that, in a parking garage is six to four. If there are 10 trucks in the garage, how many cars are there? So you need to label it, put in the information you have, put in the information you want, and you're going to simplify before you multiply. And the last one is a homework check. Number three, name one of the points on the line. And you have your choices here, and here's the line. And um, it's, it goes one to two, two to four, and on up. And that completes this video on ratio tables and a review of graphing.